Dit is Papa Alfa 0 Eco Tingo Eco voor de Daily Minutes met een nieuwsupdate van vandaag, 17 april 2016. Dit is het bulletin van zondag. As every weekend, today's bulletin will be in English. We do have some Morse code today and another special antenna picture in SSTV PD50. In a moment we will start with some DX news for the upcoming period. After that we have something special which we might do more often in the future. Some popular science as it is called. Zulu Lima 1, Mike Romeo Charlie will be active from Muri, Rarotonga Island until April 22nd as Echo 51, Mike Romeo Charlie. He will be operating on HF bands. 3 Whiskey 3 Bravo will be active again from Laos until April 26 as X-Ray Whiskey 4 X-Ray Romeo. He will be operating 80 to 10 meters CW and Ritty. Special call sign Alpha Uniform 6 Hotel Alpha Papa from India. This activity will be operating from Hampi to tell the world the glory and prosperity of uh, the great forgotten kingdom of Fija. I hope I pronounce it right. Fijaja Nagar. Hampi was the capital of the great Fijaja Nagar Empire during the period uh, 1336 uh, uh, and 1556. Hampi is situated on the southern bank of the river Tunga Badra in Kamataka state in India. Hampi has many hundreds of monuments, temples, ancient irrigation projects, palaces and buildings spread over 26 square kilometers. The participants in the HU6HAP callsign activity are six ham radio operators and one SWL. They will be operating from April 17 until 20. Frequencies used will be 7035 uh, to 7150, 14210 to 14250, 21235 to 21350, and 28450 to 28545 kHz. Uh, operating frequency depends on propagation. Yankee Delta 4 India Romeo Shadow will be active from Mentawai Islands. Uh, IOTA OC215 April 19 to 23 as Yankee Delta 4 India Romeo Shara stroke 5 he will be operating 80 40 15 10 meters CW and SSB Elvira India Victor 3 Foxtrot Shara Gold will be active from Democratic Republic of the Congo April 22nd and until 30 as 9 Quebec 0 Hotel Quebec stroke 1 and from May 1st to May 22nd as 9 Q0 Hotel Quebec Back. She will be operating on H8210 meters, single side but ready PSK31, using 100 watts and a dipole antenna. Victor Kilo 4 Alpha Delta Charlie will be active from Norfolk Island April 23rd until May 2nd as Victor Kilo 9 November Uniform. He will be operating on 80, 40, 20, 15 and 10 meters and possibly 6 meters using a dipole antenna. Papa Yankee 4 November Yankee will be active from Fernando de Noronha Island May 13 until 23rd as Papa Yankee 0 November Yankee. He will be operating on 80 to 10 meters CW, SSB and digital modes. Gulf Zero Victor Delta Echo will be active from St. Helena Island uh, May 22nd until June 6th as Zulu Delta 7 Victor Delta Echo. He will be operating on HF bands. Juliet Alpha 7 Echo Papa Oscar will be active from Pompeii Island uh, June 10 until 18 as Victor 63 India Mike. Uh, Juliet Alpha 7 Hotel Mike Zulu will also be active uh, from Pompeii Island in the same week 10 to 18 June as Victor 63 Delta X-Ray. When I was 10 years old, my mother gave me an old Kodak Brownie camera. I was disappointed because it looked like a box with a hole in it. I didn't realize how this simple box revolutionized photography. Did it change the way American families think of themselves and recall their own histories? The Brownie camera was the brainchild of George Eastman. In 1871, this 17 year old bank clerk took up photography. It wasn't a simple thing in those days. In Eastman's own words, it took a pack horse load of equipment, including a sink, because making photos was messy business. It involved coating glass plates with egg whites. His first step was to get rid of the sink to make the process dry. Eastman worked in his mother's kitchen to make dry plates, even boiling his chemicals in her teapot. He went into business as the Eastman Dry Plate Company. Eastman felt he could make money from his plates, but only if there existed a small, simple camera to use them. 
This started him on a 20-year quest. His first camera in 1885 included a key feature, a roll of film. Eastman took coatings from his dry glass plates and transferred it to flexible paper. Although it was now inconvenient to take pictures, it cost $45 for the camera, an exorbitant price in 1885. Over the next three years, Eastman improved his camera, but it still cost $25, again too much, although it carried for the first time one of the greatest trademark names ever. To name the camera, Eastman looked for a simple word that could be pronounced in every language. Eastman's favorite letter was K. He said it was strong, incisive, firm, and unyielding. From this feeling, he conjured up Kodak. With profits from these cameras, Eastman spent 10 more years perfecting his ultimate camera, the Brownie. It sold for $1 plus 15 cents for film. In its first year, 1900, 5,000 of them flew off the shelves, spreading across the globe. In 1904, for example, when the Dalai Lama came down from his Tibetan capital for the first time, he brought with him his Kodak camera. In spite of the success of the Brownie, Eastman continued creating new cameras until he got a painful spinal condition that made him inactive. Always the man of action, Eastman made a plan. He tidied up his will, then asked his doctor to show him exactly where his heart was. In 1932, George Eastman shot himself through the heart, leaving behind a yellow-lined piece of paper with the words, To my friends, my work is done. Why wait? And what work that was. This year alone, Americans will take 70 billion photos, not simply photographs, but memories to be shared for years, all started by George Eastman and his brownie camera. Daily Minutes zijn dagelijks om 1900 uur te beluisteren op PI2 NOS en ochtends om half elf. Verder zijn de uitzendingen onder andere te beluisteren op youtube.com schuine-pa0ete. Let op, sommige uitzendingen staan niet op youtube.com. Die staan dus alleen op www.pa0ete.nl. Massive and expensive equipment marks the professional radio station. But in the amateur field, radio parts often include pieces of assorted junk ingeniously assembled by operators who are called hams and who take up broadcasting as a hobby. <laughs>